Welcome to this inf informational video on MIT 3.086, Innovation and Commercialization. It's an undergraduate class taught in the Materials Science and Engineering Department here at MIT. The importance of technical problem solving uh, has played an important role in economic growth, and MIT is ground zero for training in problem solving. Problem sets are a core mechanism for teaching uh, the technical details and problem solving here at MIT. Previously, um, society looked to corporate laboratories uh, such as AT&T Bell Laboratories, uh, building large complexes where uh, people that were skilled in technical problem solving become innovators, that is, solving problems on a larger scale as embedded in uh, in practical, um, larger um, systems engineering problems. Um, many corporations, IBM, TJ Watson, and Bell Laboratories are the most famous, but during the 50s, 60s, and 70s, many corporations had these laboratories where uh, great early stage innovations actually were produced from people leaving places like MIT and, and becoming innovators there. So society looked to these corporate labs to, to do this. However, after 50 years of um, evolving through, through, through an age of specialization, a uh, large impact uh, will now once again be in the hands of innovators. In a sense, we're returning to the age of Avina Bush, uh, the visionary MIT Dean of Engineering that understood the role of basic research as well as the importance of problem context in creating great innovation. And of course, the famous example of Edison, uh, who not only mastered the technical, but realized the link to application uh, and implementation in business in order to determine the technical path to pursue and also how to complete those great innovations, such as uh, commercial electrification. In fact, uh, one of probably the reasons that MIT um, has such a core um, core staple of problem solving is that if you go to Lobby 7 uh, at 77 Massachusetts Avenue and read across the top, it's one of the few universities that was created to do exactly this role. Uh, here in Lobby 7 facing the uh, Charles River, it says established for the advancement and its application to industry, the arts, agriculture, and commerce. So one of the few universities founded on the concept that study of basic science and engineering leads to impact in the marketplace and that's one of the only ways in which you can identify the proper piece of science and, and technology to pursue. In order to remove factors that cloud precise thinking about innovation, which is generally a broad buzzword today, 3.06 begins with the innovation process itself. It builds upon this innovation process, um, um, which are based on these three elements shown here, so that the student can use it as a lens for thinking about problem solving in realistic environments, and to also separate the influences of um, other factors, such as um, organizational, financial, and macroeconomic forces, which sometimes cloud um, the, the thinking and um, the description of, of innovation. The class uses examples from materials and device area to elucidate how the innovation process um, acted through previous successful and unsuccessful market innovations. Our text, Inside Real Innovation, will be a required reading for a portion of this class. Thank you.